Uh, he's just like my best mate. Definitely. He's been as good as gold since the day I got him. He's just been so well behaved. He's... Leave it. Shh. My mum and dad just wanted me to do whatever made me happy. I mean, I think they were... My mum was pleased when I joined the police force. But then she understood that I wasn't really enjoying it and she was quite very supportive when I decided to leave and go it alone as a, as a trainer. So she wasn't, she wasn't disappointed. She was like, well, you've got to do what makes you happy. Yeah, five in a row this morning, so it's going to be busy. But most of those are sort of conditioning circuits anyway. So pretty much be similar, which would not be too bad. And then uh, try and get some meals in at some point. And then uh, train this afternoon and a couple more clients this evening. Busy today. Come on then. I like to see them do well. You know, I, it's almost like living uh, vicariously through somebody else, isn't it? You, you're sharing in their success. So it, I'm competitive in that respect as well. So as much as I want to see myself do well, I want to see my clients do well as well because then I'm winning through them as well. So if they do well, then I do well. And it helps my business, you know. The more success I have with clients, then the more clients I get. It's a... It's a, it's a a results-driven business. You know, if you're doing well with your clients, and you're going to get more clients. If all your clients fuck up, then you get nothing. And people are like, oh, he's a shit trainer. His clients never win. So, so yeah, it's a business, isn't it? Mm. It's how I earn my living, and I've done all right over the years. And I couldn't imagine ever putting on a suit and going to work in an office, no. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do that Monday to, fun, that fun, Monday to Friday grind of going into an office. I like the flexibility this gives me, like, you know, get here in the morning, take my dog for a walk, train a client, sit and have a meal, train another client, train myself. <laughs> How much is it, like 10k? 50k. 50k. 50k for anyone who pulls 501 on the elephant bar. It's still tough. It's still tough. Yeah. It's a tough ball, like, I think. Thor won it last year. He was in great shape deadly size. And he pulled 472. It's having a purpose, isn't it? I mean, um, I mean, Ar there was a great speech by Arnold Schwarzenegger, which is, uh, I mean, I think it pretty much broke the internet when it, it came out. Um, it was downloaded, it was downloaded 100 million times uh, when it first came out. And he said, if you're not, if you don't have a purpose in life, you're not living. You're just making up the numbers. 
every man needs a purpose in his life. What every woman needs a purpose in their life, something to achieve, something to go for. And it doesn't matter what it is, whether it's business, whether it's sport, whether it's having a family. I think you need you need a purpose. You need something to work towards. Otherwise, you're just plodding along, and you're wasting the only life you've been given. And I suppose that's I enjoy that. His one's American, but he I need structure in my life. I don't know what to, if I don't if I'm not competing, or I'm not, I, don't, I don't really know what to do with myself. Do you know what I mean? It's some some people just need structure, and I'm like that. I, I need to know what I'm eating, when I'm eating it, when I'm training, what I'm training, and so that regimented lifestyle. I suppose it's just like I say, I've been doing it since I was 18, 19 years old, and so I wouldn't know any different. Like I say, if I just suddenly stop training tomorrow, I'd be like, mm, now what do I do? You know. Yeah, I feel a bit lost, I think. Come on, come on, push now. Push, yeah! push. It's not a family thing, because I, I think I'm the only one, I mean, I've got quite a big family, but I'm the only one in my family that ever got into sport. Um, I mean, my brother's a policeman, and my sister's a nurse, and they've had no interest, No, none of my family had any real interest in sport. My brother played a bit of football, but then didn't every kid, but... Um, no, I don't know where it, I don't honestly know where it came from because there's nobody in my family like that. Oi, Harley, this way. Come on, oi, don't go down there. Come on. My mum and dad both uh, RAF. My granddad was RAF. My uncle's uh, regimental sergeant major in the army. I had a big motorbike accident about eight nine years ago where I broke my leg in six places and I broke my arm in two. And the doctors then were saying, oh, you'll never train heavy again and you won't be able to train. So I thought, oi. So I thought, I'd better prove them wrong. I decided to enter another bodybuilding competition, dieted for that, but just didn't enjoy it. I didn't enjoy the process anymore. Something sort of changed inside me and I just thought, oh, I don't really enjoy this anymore. I don't enjoy the dieting. I don't enjoy the getting up on stage in front of all these people in my underpants anymore. And, shaving my body and covering in fake tan. It's like, uh, getting too old for this now. And that was when I met Adam, and uh, he's just like, well, why don't you try doing strongman? And I just never really thought about it before. I'd always been strong for my size, uh, strong as a bodybuilder. So I thought, man, why not give it a go? So I did, and I entered a, entered a strongman competition down in Eastbourne, did okay. And then did, a, did another one and won that one. And then I sort of had a, concessions of about three or four wins in a row and I thought, yeah, I like this, so carried on doing it. I did England's Strongest Masters, came second in that one. Then I did Europe's Strongest Masters and I won that one. Then I did it again this year, came second in Europe's again. And then obviously now, as you know, going off to the World Championships in June down in Australia. Holly, come on, stupid. I think everything has its place. When I'm at work, my purpose is to get the job done. When it's my training, my purpose is to hit my goals and hit my targets for that week. And then, obviously, in my spare time, it's devoted to my girlfriend and, and Harley. You know, they're making them my priority and, you know, giving them the time they deserve as well. Because it is, I say, it is a selfish sport. Then you have to have that balance in your life as well to give to the other people in your life. Otherwise, you end up a very lonely person.